two eggs, sweetened condensed milk, cream, vanilla extract, sugar. Um, super simple recipe. I don't even think a video is necessary, but in this case it is because I'm going to be showing you how to get the custard really, really smooth. Um, so I figured I'd make this video, use the can, just like I grew up using. My mom still uses the can. Uh, it's all about going low and slow here. We're going to go 200 degrees in the oven. It took me about four hours. Um, it's all about checking that temperature, making sure it doesn't hit over 176 degrees Fahrenheit, all that stuff. We'll jump right into it and I'll show you how to make it. All right, so before we start, just gonna mention, I got this really sweet food processor at the thrift shop, thanks. Start off with the Borden, shout out Borden. Grew up drinking their milk as a kid. Start off with that, sweet condensed milk into the processor or mixer, however way you're mixing it. I like to throw the cream back into the can and stir it up just so I can utilize everything. Then I'll just give it a little scrapey scrape, take everything out of the can and utilize it all. Then throw in the sugar, egg 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 mexican vanilla extract then you just want to blitz that sucker real good and then throw it through a fine mesh strainer make sure it comes out really smooth that's why i strain it so now we're going to do our caramel so we're just doing sugar water some spice tribe star anise here cinnamon and then throw a cover on just to help with that crystallization on the sides of the pan. It just washes it off, makes your life easier. I'm going for a nice amber color here. You can go as dark as you want. In my opinion, the darker, the better. It's nice to have some bitter notes in there with your sweet flan. So pour that into each one here. And then you're just going to make sure to swirl it around the bottom just to evenly coat the bottom of your vessel of choice. I'm going to explain something about this later on in the video. Stay tuned. I made a little mistake and we're going to go ahead and fix it later on. So anyways, carefully inspect everything. Make sure it's ready to go into the box. Cool. So top it off with your flan mixture and then quick little tip. If you want to get all these air bubbles off, just a little torchy torch on each one. We'll get rid of all those air bubbles. Good to go so you can use chump, some chopsticks at the bottom of your pan to kind of prop it up so it's not touching the pan in your water bath or just use a rack i have a rack i'm using a rack then you just want to pour in water just to cover everything halfway about this is just to regulate the temperature make sure everything is not scorching so put them in your water bath in the oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Low and slow is the name of the game here. We want to make sure it does not surpass 176 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when everything sets. But in my opinion, I like it just at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the money spot right there. So I like to completely cool mine overnight in the fridge just to make sure everything is completely set up. Take it out onto a plate and then you have this super smooth, delicious custard. But I'm not too happy with the way my caramel came out, so let's rewind. Nice dark caramel just like this. If you want yours like this, go ahead and make sure you take your sugar longer. You got to be patient. I forgot my own rule here. Patience is the name of the game, everybody. So take your sugar longer, do the exact same thing, bake it at the same temperature, bring it out at the same temperature, cool it overnight, and there you have a perfect flan super smooth delicious custard so in my opinion i'd take it out at about 165 degrees just till it's about set that's going to be a super creamy flan just like this so as you can see it's super smooth 
I've never made one this smooth before, so I mean, it's all about the, the details here, people. Low and slow, really good. So thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I will see you in the next one. I think it's gonna be chicken sandwiches. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. So stay tuned for that.